it's yeah. time to start saying, you know what, I'm an American, and that's cool. If you don't, we're we're on the way to saying I'm Chinese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, uh, how's your Mandarin? <laughs> yeah, it might be a good time to learn it as they, they're all sneaking in across the border. That's one of the more disturbing things. When I talked to Brett Weinstein, we was talking about how many uh, Chinese military-aged men are sneaking across the border. And you want to you wanna look at it the best way possible. You say, well, it's probably a bunch of people that are looking for work, and it's probably a bunch of people that are, you know, there's not as many Chinese women, and they're trying, looking for a girlfriend or something. And yeah. Why do they have military haircuts? Well, they're probably, you know, it's just like a young man thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've heard more specifically. I can't vet it, so I can't prove it. So, uh, like, there's the grain of salt up front, but I have I've heard that – even Chinese special forces. If I was a special forces of a hostile country, I'd try to sneak across and do infiltration. So I've heard that there might be even, you know, hundreds or thousands of those, not hundreds of thousands, hundreds or thousands. But I don't know if that's true. But Well, I wouldn't. It's not even really sneaking in anymore, is it? No, you just kind of walk across and I mean, there's even memes that are like, I'm going to go to Honduras and give up my American citizenship and come back across yeah. so everything will be paid for for me. You know, it's like, no, it's not sneaking across. It's it's like as they are saying, full scale invasion. Well, it's just weird. It's weird that we've just kind of gone. Well, well, we've always. Uh, I mean, there was always customs. There's always you land. They check out your stuff. They look at your paperwork. They go through your passport. They ask you questions. Yeah. Why are you in this country? You know, and it's always been that way. Like I, I was watching this video with the you know who Dead Mouse is yeah. Dead Mouse, the mu musician, um, the DJ, he was uh, they he was trying to come into the country to visit his friend, and uh, they said, "No, you're coming into work." And he's like, "No, no, I'm coming because he's famous. He yeah. works." Yeah. He's like, "No, I get paperwork," and they they kicked him out of the country for like seven years. Whoa. He should have just walked through. Yeah, right. He should have been, no, I'm been just fine. here to do whatever I want. <laughs> but what a bizarre thing. If you're undocumented, if you are poor, and if you're going to do cheap labor, walk right in. But if you're a highly skilled, world-famous DJ, and you want to go visit a friend, we're concerned that you might actually be working there. Yeah, or like a uh, super pro tennis player who's going to go play in the U.S. Open, but no, maybe not, right? Well, that was the Vax. Thing. That was the Vax. That was the, by the way, Neil Young came back to Spotify. Congratulations, oh. Neil. Yeah, well, th that's good news. And his excuse was, he said that because all of the platforms are now allowing my disinformation oh. so that he was just go back on Spotify too. Oh, great, yeah. Great to know you've got some ethics. Yeah, well, everybody's <laughs> doing it these days, disinformation. <laughs> um, 